Hey everyone, uh, this is Dave from the Unofficial Titan Merchandise Society. Our special guest unboxer today is Kevin. Hello! And as you guys notice, we have the Star Trek Where No Man Has Gone Before collection. This is why Kevin's here. He is our uh, official Star Trek expert, so... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here. I know I've seen all three seasons. <laughs> I know basically what's going on here. And uh, why don't we start off by taking a look at the roster? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that while okay. Kevin shows you that. Again, we want to thank Entertainment Earth for sending this to us. Um, they always hook us up big. We have a great roster on this one. As you see, we have a Kirk. We have a Spock, Bones, Chappelle. I mispronounced that, didn't I? Probably. Scotty, Sulu, Uthura, Vina, Rand, Telesopian Keeper, <laughs> Mystery Sulu. Uh, we have the Goran. Pike, Balak, Kirk, and Khan. <laughs> so. Obviously he's seen the Wrath of Khan. <laughs> so, um, you'll notice something very odd about this set, mm -hmm. as opposed to other Titan sets, mm -hmm. which is that this set has... Two chases. Two, not four. Mm -mm. Um, that's different. So we're expecting to see only one chase figure per case, mm -hmm. and you'll notice that there is a two more figures added to the roster. That's right, yeah. They did a so, total of, what, we did it 18, I think, originally? No, 14. There was originally 14. Yeah, there's 14 in, in there, and mm -hmm. there's normally 12 in the, in the initial non-chase groupings. Yeah. So this will be interesting. They obviously wanted to um, represent more of the cast, yep. and that means for an interesting bit and change uh, as to what we're going to see. Yep. So let's take a look and open up the box. And it should be noted, by the way, we wouldn't, you wouldn't expect us to have to say this, but you never know. This is not based on the new movies. This is on the original oh, yes. TV this is, series. This is actually, it says on the box, season one. Yep. So you're going to see mostly things from season one, um, Speed Seed, The, cha um, the Cage, uh, various episodes just from season one. So I'm expecting that we will we'll see more from um, season two and three later on. That'd be cool. So yeah, if again, this is successful. the usual 20 in a box, very nice layout. Let's take a look at the boxes themselves. So let's start over here, because that's how we usually... Good little design on the front there. The usual lineup. Command color. Very nice. <laughs> the usual breakdown. And then on the back, they're, they're going a little bit fancy now on the little design on the back here. Check that out. Multicolor. I, <laughs> I like the looks of that. Again, some of these are going to come with, um, obviously, they have the V-movable arms, uh, turnable heads, and some of them will have an accessory. So Accessories? That's the best part. <laughs> yep. So we're going to go ahead and let Kevin open up the first one here. We're going to start off first box on the very first row, left going to the right. All right. All right. So usually um, I found that very often this first row has a chase. So let's see what happens. There's a high probability Ooh. that this will either be a chase. Whoa, wait, wait a wait. second. This is something oh, new. Oh, look at that. There is a card Whoa. in here. Now, the question is, is this card an going indicator. to be an indication as to what we're going to get? Or is this same card going to be in every single pack? Either way, not something new to collect and mm -hmm. keep. That'll be fun. And there's <laughs> a Star official Star Trek magazine uh, subscription. Yes, uh, huh. basically like a coupon. Now I know I know other blind boxes have done a card, but it's usually in the foil with the figure. So this will be interesting to kind of yeah, see. Yeah, the only other card that I can think of for Titans is the instructions for the Dalek. That's it. Yeah. So. So how to put it together? Yeah. See what and we, we have a chase, just ah. as I suspected. Here we have ceremonial garb Kirk. I can hold it closer if you want. All right. And he comes with a lovely phaser. Very nice. <laughs> what are they That's set a good to? little figure. I, I imagine it's set to kill since it is Kirk. <laughs> oh. All right. And um, let you me just say interesting. foil, uh, nice yellowish command color again. Check this out, give it a little squeeze. That's a different vinyl. That is definitely a different vinyl. It's it's a little more pliable. 
Interesting. Um, and this hasn't been out in the sun or anything. No. This has been inside for the last couple days. So. Usually the body is um, stiff and the head is kind of squishy. Yeah. Um, this <laughs> is kind of the opposite. You'll see the... It gives... It gives. Oh. Yeah. And the head is even less. So it's a little bit of a flip. Maybe it's just a little once in the, uh, you know, in the, in the pack type thing, so. Maybe. Uh, second box, again, same card, so it looks like it's just, uh, you know, a nice little card that they put in there as well. Okay, so everyone should yep. be the same. All right. Let's open up this bad boy. Oh. We have the, I gotta look at the box again. <laughs> this would be the Talosian Keeper. Very nice design. Big Make. head. Make a reality with his mind. Ooh, very cool. Yeah. This one again is the little pliable vinyl, so uh -huh. interesting. If you wanted to take a look. Don't hate on him because he's squishy. <laughs> it's evolution, my dear friend. <laughs> okay. All right, the third one. Three. I'll now, get the fourth one ready. This is, that one was a one in 20. So. Yeah, so we've pulled a one in 40 and a one in 20 so far. I've noticed that the um, the bindings for the yep. ten packs in the last two sets mm -hmm. have been a little bit harder to open. Oh yeah, a You've, bit. Um, you can't you can't do the whole tear like this. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to find the little crank oh. to actually rip. Okay. That'd be Balak. Here's Balak, the fake alien. Yes. Or if I know my if I if I remember my Star Trek. No, I had to look that up last night because I was kind of <laughs> interested in, in his story. And then he so. was a lip synced kid. In, in the actual <laughs> Very episode. strange. It was really, really strange, but it's a classic. <laughs> Same card. Yep. Same card again. Titans, if you do watch, we're just saying it would maybe be cool to kinda of add a little card for each character in the But we don't need it. This but we don't need this it. This is marvelous. We yep. love it. Yep. <laughs> just just saying. Oh yeah, look at that. The little notch. Huh. Yeah. All right. Have you never noticed the notch? No. The notch has always, always the notch has always been there, but it's but it's um the packaging has become a little more difficult oh. to open. Like they've they've sealed it a little. Sure. Bit have you seen the notch? No. Oh. <laughs> we just rip it. We do. We just yeah. rip it apart. We just rip it apart. We I have usually no did that too. Mm. Yeah. True. Ooh, Orion slave girl. <laughs> there you go. I believe they gave her the name of Vina on this one. Uh, just a little. I can't Orion get my hair to girl. do that either. <laughs> I believe. Actually, it's a beautiful Titan. Now, now, remind me, this is the one where we're... Where, no, no, that was a Toro. Never mind. Yeah. We'll this, come to that joke later. I love the design in this one's hair. It's, there's some really great, like... Yeah. Usually the hair can be a little bit wanting. This is, uh, this is a really very great... Detailed. This is a very good sculpting, and they got the little toenails and everything. This is, this is a really fun thing. Matt here. Jones has definitely stepped it up with the hair recently. Yes. I'm jealous of most of the girls' hair. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, now we're going to the second row, first in, if you're looking at it. Let's see so. if we can tilt down the camera. Oh, Ooh, that works. Oh, even better. Okay. I can squish. Let's hope that it doesn't fall, but if it does, no. oh well. <laughs> All right, so. We never said we were professionals. We're trying our best. People. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I love the yellow body. It's such a fun. It's really, really yellow. <laughs> oh yeah, compared to like the tanness and the darker hair. And the shading around the eyes. Some really great paint jobs done for this. Very precise. I'm not seeing any skips in the paint or anything like that. Yeah. All right, and another. So card. far, none of these figures have had accessories. Well, also none of them. Except well, for Kirk. Yeah, and ooh, now they do change up the card. Oh. So was yours? Nope, it was another Kirk. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, now we're gonna have to start collecting the cards as well. Oh. Never mind, Titan. We're cool. <laughs> we're happy. <laughs> and guess what I got? Another con. Con. <laughs> okay. So we have two cons. Because he is two and twenty. Yep. We haven't pulled any of the core yet. Uthura. Uthura. Ahura, my bad. And the Gorn. <laughs> oh my god, okay, take a look at this head. It is adorable. It is so huge. <laughs> it's almost a little 
That is a good sculpt, though. I mean, that is oh, a it's, it's huge perfectly, head. It's perfectly I mean, balanced. Yeah. Because it's because it goes back a little bit too. But let's let's find a normal head just to kind of compare it. Like that look at is that. A look snout that. on that guy. <laughs> That's gonna take and some definitely stands, think, wild. Right? That's gonna take some. Oh yeah. Like, Pretty well yeah. balanced. Yeah, that's gonna take a. That's gonna take a wooden cannon to to kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so again, these cards are gonna be like interesting. Another thing to put behind the casing, I imagine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of stand them up somehow. And another one. Gorn. I really like that figure. That's a really fun one. It is a good looking figure. <laughs> I remember uh, we saw it on a little Instagram pic that they sent out a while ago. Yeah, but so. you, I mean, you see these figures, but there's something different about actually holding yeah, them. Yeah, 100%. Um, they, I mean, even the things that they send, they put on the Instagram, those are not finished products sometimes. No. You can see slight variations. Yeah. Um, and I mean, the figures do change up until the very last. Oh, yeah. Much like the spelling in some of the boxes. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look Pike. at Pike. Oh, okay. This is the first captain of the Star Trek Enterprise. He did not fare so well. Nope. Nope. One beep yes, two beeps no. He also or made an appearance in South Park. <laughs> or the other way around, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. Um, I think your card, I, uh, I got a yep. different one for this one. Yeah. Yeah. So they do seem to change up at least every row. That one I there think, might yeah, have just been Yeah, it's probably just going to be off. every row is a different yep. one. Which... Kudos to them. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. So let's see here. I got Beehive. Holy cow, look at that hair. On the topic <laughs> that of is hair. some 60s love, my friend. We got uh, <laughs> Rand. She has her head turned a little. Well, oh, you know what? You can no. turn it a little. It's, it's, it's always got tough. a little bit of... A little articulation, but again, really these, well designed. These... Okay, I have to say... All of this Star Trek series, it's all about the hair. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Look man. Look at this. Look this at is the, Chappelle. Look at the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's some detail. Oh, it turns nicely. Yeah. Um, That's always Again, a the body has a little bit more of a give. Oh, I'm loving. Oh, and also we should take a look at the stamp. This oh, time. yeah. This is a different stamp since it's the first kind of its set. So it's nice to see what the stamp looks like. All right. I don't think this is a big hair one. I can kind of feel it through the envelope. Okay, so we're probably going to the core group now. Let's take a look. Oh, I see an accessory. Oh! Oh, oh my. <laughs> and he comes... By the fabulous George Decker. Yes. Oh, with a nice little communicator. And the doctor came with a hypo. Oh, very nice. Now, George's body... George, if you're seeing this, sorry. His body feels a little firmer. Let me see. Go ahead, squeeze George. You know, it still has that gift, but because it's a little bit, I want to say like, you know, it's a, it's a regular figure, it's not the female figure. Yeah. Um, and its legs are a little more stable. Yeah. It probably, that's probably the reason why. Mm. But yeah, you're, I guess you're right. It is interesting. George has got a nice firm body. Well, I mean, you, you, <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> he, he'll never <laughs> see this. <laughs> Hi, George. Okay. We're going to get an email from him. <laughs> get an email from everybody. <laughs> New card. New card. Okay. Very nice. Boons. McCoy. And he's a 2 and 20. Yep, so... So I'm guessing... That that's probably a McCoy. It is. The there twins. Yeah. And they've both got the hypodermic too. Perfect. Alright. All right. It's interesting that, like, the core is kind of further back in the case. Well, usually, I mean, especially with 2 and 20s, they tend to be the... The last two rows tend to be 2 and 20s. Yeah. Um, if you're not getting a jumbled case from some other means, like Hot Topic or yeah. whatnot, if you get them directly, if you're getting yeah. them directly from EE, they're usually not touched by anybody. Yeah. So um, this is the factory. Direct shake from up. the factory. Ooh, I got a new card. No, this is the same card. Oh, you oh. got a new one. Okay. Look at that. 
I do like these cards. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> and it's nice that the cards aren't like of everyone, so then you kind of get spoiled. We got another hairdo. Oh. And it's amazing. Uh, I had the pleasure yeah, of meeting yeah. her back at Gallifrey One. Oh, she yeah? is one of the most pleasant people. Oh, nice. And I love the communicator. That is some excellent, That's pretty impressive excellent too. sculpting with the hoop ears. Yeah, and the paint job and everything. This is a brilliant figure. And I've got Scotty. Good little sculpt on Scotty as well. I, I'm going to consider the earpiece the accessory for her because she is spot on. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good, yeah. And looking at everything, too, the paint job is, like, really good. I mean, they've gotten the uh, the little yeah. ranking on the um, sleeves and everything. Well, I mean, back in, like, Series 2 with his first David Tennant series for Doctor Who, mm -hmm. the stripes on the paint jobs, sometimes you'd see, like, small variations on yeah. it. Um, ever since the more recent series is, like, um, when, especially Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, anything that has to do with the glasses, Sherlock, they... Mm -hmm. uh, They've been doing a lot better job with the painting. Yeah. Titan, Titan has stepped up. Really stepped up yeah. and become much more detail oriented. Oh, definitely. And nice little. I don't know what that would be. That is some sort of wrench. Some sort of wrench. Oh, he's engineering. So yeah, he's, so it's he's a got wrench. that. I'm sure that there's somebody in Star Trek that's like, obviously that is that thing. We're going to get comments. Awesome. I love comments. <laughs> Even hateful ones. <laughs> All right, now we're on the very last four. Yep. So we're expecting... Same one as Spock. The last two and 20s. These are probably going to be Kirks and Spocks. Kirks and Spocks all over. Kirks and Spocks all over. <laughs> and here we have the man himself. Say it like him. James Diberius Kirk. Both of them. And he comes with a phaser as well. Set to kill. Set to kill. Oh yeah. Look at that hair on Shatner. We don't talk about Shatner's hair. Okay. But oh, wait a second. I'm what? not finding the phaser for one of oh. them. Oh. Did I? There may be missing a phaser. Okay. Sometimes this happens. It happens. No big deal. Reach out to Titan. Usually they will supply. Yep. Reach out to them on Twitter. Really good. Okay. Let's we'll take a look and see. Another Spock card for anyone playing the home game. Spock. I wonder if this is Spock, seeing as we haven't seen oh. the Vulcan Devil. Half Vulcan Devil. Oh, there it is. Okay. We're going to talk about the paint job for this guy. Because uh -oh. it is spot on. Oh, my. And I don't mean that like George Takei, oh, my. <laughs> Oh, wow, the accessory. Yeah. Okay. Um, the paint job, look at the difference. Between, I mean, these are different types of vinyl, and look how cor how color correct it is from the hands to the face. It's perfect. Yep. And I love the... <laughs> Little feet. Yep, I love... I, love, I just. I think this is a great set. But as you said, pulling out the envelope, his accessory... It's a tricorder. This, this is the most, I think, detailed accessory I've seen in a while. Yeah, definitely. Um, I can't really think of anything that's no, look at me. Got, it's got all this, usually there's maybe two or three colors yeah but um, they've got every little button in there I mean even like the really small buttons by the screen yeah this is really nice Matt, Matt did a good job very nice yeah Kudos. good job yeah so that is the Star Trek where no man has gone before of course we're going to have to recreate a famous scene no we're not going to do that no so it yeah. is completely acceptable now, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, again, thank you very much to Entertainment Earth. Um, this is an amazing set, especially with the 50th coming up. Uh, I believe it's September 8th. We will actually be doing a very special contest with Entertainment Earth where you can win your own case. Um, details are going to be coming soon. We're just finishing all of that. Um, again, thank you to Titan Merchandise for putting out an amazing collection. Thank you to Star Trek as well for saying yes to Titan Merchandise coming up to them. Um, this is, I think this is one of the biggest franchises since Doctor Who and maybe Ghostbusters. Yeah. One of the longest franchises that this since is, Doctor I mean, Who. This is definitely the most um, money-making movie yeah. set, the franchise that we've had yeah. bar none. 
and they have all the rights all the way up from from you know uh, the original all the way up to whatever the last one was uh, into darkness but beyond not the now. movies no they don't have the movies no, they okay. don't have the movie rights no but they have all of the tv rights so as you already know they are doing the make it so collection soon which will be fun it is a pre pre order able on yep. entertainment earth just yep. as this is and yep. soon to be released yep um, again big thank you to matt jones he does so much like yes. it's unbelievable what he does um thank you kevin for driving all the way up from connecticut Thank you, Dave, for having me. You're welcome. And, and thank you to all of our fans on the site. We couldn't do this without the communication that you guys do. Yep, yep. All and these videos are for them, really. Exactly. Yeah. This is all for you guys. Yep. So, again, make sure you follow us on Facebook, uh, the Unofficial Titan Merchandise Society. We're on Instagram mm -hmm. at TUTMS. Twitter at TUTMS Society. So, it's just the S and then O-C-I-E-T-Y. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel so then you see more unboxings like this. Um, you find out when we're doing different contests and everything along those lines. And so let's see if we can just pick up the camera a little bit and get a nice little finger out of the way. Yeah, let me just move some figures there. Sure. Little hairdos are having some problems here. <laughs> there we go. And overall, a whole series again mapped out as usual. So again, thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.